Look at this photo. Does this not look worse than Spy Kids 3D? Really does look like a low grade kids movie. Dude, this is Jeez. like, why would you? Uh, I hate that they just went. See, they, I know we've been bitching about this for years now, but they just went CB, uh, CGI vomit on everything in this fucking movie. Should we, should we talk about the very tiny elephant in the room? Um, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. I'm this is a lie. Dude, this is not even good. Like, this yeah. is not even, here's all, here's all the, uh, the openings for all their movies, okay? This is their budgets on the left here. This column right here is all their openings. Iron Man made a hundred and two million. Was it like fourteen years ago? Mm hmm. It didn't even do as good as uh Thor Love and Thunder, right? Like Thor Love and Thunder had a better opening weekend. Or it's right around the same. Let's see. Thor Love and Thunder domestic opening weekend made a hundred and forty four million. So and Ant Man right now is at hundred and four. Black Panther Wakanda even made hundred and eighty one and like that didn't really do very good. Like they didn't even clear a billion. No. And yeah, and they, they bear I think they made their money back on that movie. Maybe. Dude, Spider Man No Way Home made almost two billion worldwide. Jeez. And that's not even really a Marvel movie. That's yeah, a Sony. Marvel movie. gets none of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Turtles made four hundred million worldwide. Jesus, they didn't even clear Terrible. their budget on that. No, that was, that was a, a legit <laughs> flop. They can't spin that one like they're trying to spin this, because they don't even adjust for inflation and the fact that they had a um they had a holiday yeah, that's weekend. What, that's what opening. I'm saying about these. These aren't adjusted for inflation. This would probably be closer to like two hundred something now. Mm -hmm. And maybe even more. I don't know. I'm not a math person. Well, now I think prices have been higher than they ever been in history, mm -hmm. and. And he still couldn't clear what Thor, Love, and Thunder made? Fuck out of here. Dude, they they, you they see how they spin it. Tops $118 million. They still haven't even topped Iron Man 2's opening weekend. And that, well, I was about to say, that was probably the worst Iron Man, but no, th the third one was pretty damn bad. No, the third one, the opening bad. weekend was 100, 175, uh, four. And let's see, Iron Man two made six six hundred twenty one million. Iron Man three made one point two billion. Jeez, did it really? Mm hmm. Avengers made one point five billion. Age of Ultron made one point three. Civil War made one point. We'll call it one point two. Well, did you did you see any of the reviews or anybody that talks about this movie? Have you checked it out at all? No, not none of the positive ones. No, nah, me neither. I never watched the positive ones. Um, well, no, I'm not saying not the positive ones. I don't go looking for bad shit. I'm just saying everybody who talks about it that I kind of listen to yeah, and like trust I, doesn't like it. So I heard the uh, the story of Modoc. I don't know how oh, it's how even considered. Fucking Modoc. dog shit is that? <laughs> the the arc of his his character is don't be a dick, and then he kills himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. He's dying. They start making fun of him. Like, they completely take away any emotional impact they had. Like, he, he, so he sacrifices himself and you laugh at him dying. Like, this is a weird movie. Mm -hmm. But I heard, like, you don't even have to watch this to, for anything to know anything about the next phase five bullshit. Like, it has, yeah. I think, I think they said it just uh, introduces another Mar, uh, or uh Disney Plus streaming show. Yeah. Uh that's what it seems. It just it just leads into more Loki shit, I think. Oh, yeah, this it it could Worldwide. This could go either way, because I think I think it's not doing as bad as some people thought, but it's not what a Marvel movie should be. Well think about it this way. When it, all these recent Marvel movies since like Dude, Black Widow only made eight. Well, that was during the 
pandemic. So, ooh, it only made three hundred seventy nine million dollars. Are you kidding me? Holy <laughs> shit! No wonder. What was the budget for that? Two hundred million. Oh wow! Yeah, that that had to hurt. That didn't clear it because you, you always double this for marketing. Mm hmm. Didn't even clear, uh, dude. <laughs> Dude, think about this though. Ant Man had to pay what? How many millions of dollars to get a um commercial during the Super Bowl? And it still doesn't do as good as Lo Thor Love yeah. and Thunder. They don't have the budget up for this movie yet either. And I think it was somewhere around two hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, that's what I was hearing too. But like so all these movies since like Shang Chi, Internals, uh not Spider Man, that Spider Man fucking made bank. Dude, it made mm -hmm. its production budget back opening weekend. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you can do when you got a, like, a good movie and competent people. That's why Sony is like, Marvel, get the hell out of here. You're not touching this thing. I I used to like Paul Rudd until he did that shit. Um, Pat is cool. Like, I used to like him until he did that shit with Como that I put in the pre-roll. Like, fuck him. I can't really blame actors for this shit because they they just do what they're fucking their agents and their handlers tell them to do like they're, well, they're kinda, stupid but at the impact of that like everything they were doing like fuck that no yeah i get that but i'm saying like they're pretty dumb like i think people underestimate how truly dumb actors are i don't i don't think anybody grasped it until social media came around now we know exactly how stupid um what's his name the guy who plays um hulk Oh, Mark Ruffalo? I, yeah, I, he, they show how dumb he is. Like, he's a moron. I think he has, like, a brain injury or something. Yeah, it's called being famous. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, like, seriously, like, all these people, they read lines that are given to them. For the, the only thing they are good at is faking emotion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and pretending to be other people because mm -hmm. they hate themselves. Not even that they hate themselves. There's just nothing there. Oh, that's, yeah. They're that's empty vessels. It, they're empty vessels. And, and if you think about it, they, they're always shaming you. And Mark Ruffalo, all right, he's in Hollywood. I think he's done a movie with Alec Baldwin, Meryl Streep, who, like, he loves and, like, worships. And I think he's been in a movie with her. She gave a standing ovation for um, Roman Polanski, who is hiding out in France because he, he graped a child, a 13-year-old. Who, and everyone knowing that, and I don't even know why he was even mentioned in this award ceremony, but she got up and like started clapping. She called, um, what's his name? Um, Weinberg, or is that his name? The Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Weird how those names kind of blur together. Um, it's almost like she called him a god. Somehow. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> she called him a god. <laughs> so it's. Like you, how, you guys hang out with actual murderers and uh, or killers, rapists and thieves, but you always manage to try to shame other people. It's amazing. I never killed anyone. Alec Baldwin killed somebody. That's true, he did, and uh, he's probably never gonna face jail time for it. No, dude, he's gonna pay out the ass. So that's dude, something. Look at this photo. Does this not look worse than Spy Kids 3D? Really does look like a low grade kids movie. Dude, this is like, Jeez. why would you? Uh, I hate that they just went. See, they. I know we've been bitching about this for years now, but they just went CB, uh, CGI vomit on everything mm. in this fucking movie. It's a goddamn embarrassment. Apparently, she's barely even in the movie. That's what I heard. Yeah, she's in it, but you know, he's in it, but it's mostly about Michelle Pfeiffer for some reason. Yeah, because Michelle Pfeiffer was banging Kang in the Quantum Verse. Gross. Which, dude, there's so many things about this movie that I've heard that it's just like, why is that a thing? So he just yeah, crashes. We talking he, about he gets banished to the quantum verse, right? Mm -hmm. And he just happens to land exactly where Michelle Pfeiffer is. In an in an infinite, uh, in an infinite universe, they they happen to land right next to each other. But when the ants come with them, when they all get sucked into it this time. The ants line up in some kind of weird time dilation. Yeah, and they advance 10,000 years, and somehow they're like a super society. I'm like, 10,000? Like, maybe 10, if you said years, 10 million that years. That's how that works. Yeah. Also, what do they eat 
for all that time. I was thinking at the same time, what is anybody eating in this damn thing? <laughs> like, what, how did she survive 20 years? And then they don't mention that when she's down there and they bring her up in that uh, the other movie. And then this movie, she just happens not to talk about an entire society and somebody trying to destroy the world. Nah, never mind. I'll get to it when I get to it. Yeah. Did you hear about like the mind reading car that or whatever the hell he had, like the ship? That, yeah, like, yeah, it's touch... Neuralink, and she, it, she touches it, and it tells her tells her all his deep dark secrets. And you're like, what kind oh, of ship is invention. this? <laughs> what the hell is this? Is the cock blocking uh, the USS cock block a stallion, or what the what the fuck is this ship? SS Dear Diary. Like, what the fuck, man? It's so stupid. Oh, it's so bad. And then oh, I'm glad it's getting panned. Like, the, Disney needs to fail. Hollywood needs to fail. Fuck them. Yeah, like, dude, like, they're going to have to, like, do some, like, how do you fix this? How do you fix any of this? No, it's unfixable. You need to you need a clean house and get actual talent in there, and they won't do that. But what do they do? They just uh, I don't know, nuke the the MCU and just start completely over. Maybe you gotta have, none of these none of these things they have coming up besides Guardians of the Galaxy, which will do good. But I think that that's the last one. James Gunn kind of is done with Marvel. And Disney, he's got DC. Well, not kind of. He is absolutely done. He's like he's been talking shit, and he still <laughs> ended up doing the the Guardians three movie. Yeah, but he's all set with DC, which I think he's gonna Dude, fucking Guardians destroy. 3 I don't. Looks I don't like dog shit. Absolutely uh, looks like dog shit. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't have that feel the first one did. Neither did the second one. If I'm being honest, like yeah, I enjoyed it, but I didn't think it was very good. Yeah. First the writing was the be. worst part. Like everyone was having an ex existential crisis. Every like you had three characters going through the same fucking thing. There's a I did see a commercial that looked pretty funny where, um, what's the blue chick? Uh, Nebula. Nebula, and there it's her, and then. What's what's the fedora? What the hell's her name? The green one. Uh, fuck. It's always said down. Yeah. Never mind. It's Gam and it's just Gamora. funny because Gamora can't remember him, and and I think the the line is like she remembers you. Why don't you just date her? And then he starts looking at um Nebula, and she's like, "What the hell are you looking at?" And he goes, "No, I just never noticed how you know black your eyes are, or something like that." It was pretty funny. Yeah, they're good at that. They're good at the 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 little jokes in there, but they're the story and actual depth kind of sucks. I did. I was about the FBZ. I was about to say fedora. Fedora. <laughs> that can't be right. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, but. it's I. I don't know. I just the MC like Guardians Three doesn't even look good. It. I don't care. Like they pretty much ruined the Guardians with like Thor: Love and Thunder and like all that shit. It's like, yeah. So, like, by Guardians 3, like, they should have already gone through all this shit with Gamora. Yeah, they completely skipped it in that, um, um, holiday special. I thought maybe it, it you know, have like a side story with that, but. Yeah. Like, I don't know where the fuck this is even supposed to fit into the timeline. I know it's written years ago now. Mm hmm. But, dude, speaking of cartoons, Pat. I watched a pretty damn good Green Lantern cartoon last night. They I think Pat's right. Like, being best in cartoons isn't the worst idea, but even their cartoons suck. They're doing horrible. Look at um the Buzz Lightyear movie. Look at the... No, no, I'm talking about... Ones. I watched Green Lantern uh, Beware My Power, which is about Jon Stewart becoming the Green Lantern and having basically the storyline I wanted for a Green Lantern movie without the Vietnam subtext. Okay. Like, Hal Jordan's in it. You got Green Arrow in it. You even got a uh, fucking... Um, who's the bitch that was with him? Oh, uh, you got the Hawk Lady. 
You got Adam Strange. Okay. Like it was it was a pretty like and you got Sinestro all fucking around in there. It's like it was like a ninety minute movie. It's on HBO Max now. Pretty good for like like dude, it was way better than any of the DC movies they put out in the last ten years. Yeah. It's I just like in the comic books, like these things have been around so long and you're trying to do a uh make it interesting and make the stakes higher. Like you got to throw all these people into one comic book or one movie and just, you know, it's always got to save the world or the universe or whatever the fuck. And it's just, you just need something new. Maybe we need to dial back the damn, um, superhero movies. Like it's just, we've been oversaturated, especially the last like two years where Disney is just pumping out something every two weeks and it's all garbage. I, I think if they did something good, it would it, it'd probably be a little bit better. But even then, like, man, I'm kind of tired of fucking superhero movies. Yeah. Like, you can't have movies where the stakes have to get higher and higher when you save the world. All right, well, now I have to save the galaxy. Well, now I have to save time. Now I have to save multiple dimensions. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. 